Welcome back to Asia tonight. It's time for a check on business news now and markets first. Those here in Asia mostly up in trade today following the lead on Wall Street and a surprise rebound in China's factory activity. Well, U.S. stocks booked solid gains after pharmaceutical giant Johnson and Johnson said that it might have a coronavirus vaccine ready by next year. Singapore's STI and the South Korean KOSPI ending the day above 2% in trade today. Those are some solid gains there. The STI recovered after the central bank's aggressive easing of monetary policy. Meantime, Taiwan's TIEX also up in trade, up some 8 tenths of a percent, while Hong Kong's Hang Seng also making some gains there, up nearly 2% in trade. Well, fields of green, too, on the mainland, both the Shanghai and Shenzhen composites easing slightly in trade today. Factories are showing those signs of life after China lifted that lockdown on Wuhan, the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak. Over in Japan, markets there bucking the trend amidst the cautious optimism. The Nikkei dropping nearly nine-tenths of a percent in trade today, while the broader topics index shed some 2.26%. Now, concerns are growing that Tokyo could go into its first ever lockdown. That's not helping the sentiment of investors and traders over there. Meantime, in Europe, markets are rallying this hour. Hard-hit travel and leisure stocks leading the gains across the region. London's FTSE and uh, Germany's DAX trading over 2% higher. Paris's CAC marginally up as well this hour in trade. Let's take a look at those oil prices. Uh, they have staged a recovery from the previous plunge that we saw, the global benchmark, Brent crude gaining nearly 2%, uh, while the West Texas Intermediate soaring over 6%, up some 5.53% in that, ship, in that uh, price there. There was some relief after U.S. President Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin agreed to discuss the global oil price war.